Hello everybody, it is Mia and I am here tonight with another crafting project. We are going to try to ink some dollar store placemats. I don't know if you guys have heard all the buzz, but lemons are all the rage right now. And I went into Dollar Tree today to, I was trying to find another um, item for a Dollar Tree upcycle craft project that I had come across and I wanted to try it, but they didn't have that item. But when I walked through the doors, they had these super cute lemon placemats. Now they are kind of, um, if you guys ever shop at the Dollar Tree, you know that those products are not meant for longevity. So the material is a little, um, it's not fabric. It's not, I'm trying to read it, but anyways, it is a, it's polyester. So I've never inked polyester before, so I'm going to be y'all's guinea pig and try it out and see how it goes. But hopefully it'll give you guys an idea of what's possible. And if that doesn't work, I do have a true, um, another kitchen towel that we can ink on the side just in case this doesn't work. So hang tight while I get the camera set up and, um, we will uh, be right at it. Hi, Donna. Hello. And if you guys are here, please say hi so that I know that you're here and, um, and that you're joining in. If this is your first time watching one of my lives, please say, you know, comment first time so that I know and um, I can answer any questions that you might have. Okay. All right, guys. And then let me get this so I can see comments. So this, I will, so while you guys, you can see some of these things. Oops, let's see here. If I can get my cord out of the way. I probably should have thought about that before I set it up that way. Okay, guys, give me one second to get set up here. I always like, since my camera systems have changed, I do like to show my face when I get started so that you guys know um, that it's me. Okay, it says there are five comments. I, oh, there we go. Hello, hello. Hi, Lisa. Lisa and Lisa and Donna and Nicole. Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for joining in. If you guys could be so nice as to sprinkle the love, I would appreciate it. My small business would appreciate it. And I'm just trying to, uh, trying to get back to the comments. Facebook is so strange sometimes. There we go. There we go. All right, guys. Okay, so as you guys can see, aren't these super cute? I love them. And then they're just plain yellow on the back. And um, I, I love lemons. I think that they're such a nice summertime um, item. What do you guys think? Do you love lemon? Are you guys into the lemon thing? I'm telling you, it's it's like all the rage right now, at least in Virginia, on the East Coast maybe. Um, comment if you guys love lemons and if you're liking this trend, this decor trend. I am just cutting off the tags. I don't know if this will rip. Yeah, okay. I'm just cutting off the tags so that, you know, because my OCD is kicking in and it will bother me that there's this flap. <laughs> just hanging there. But again, these were purchased at the Dollar Tree and they had really cute um, kitchen mittens and um, I don't think the kitchen towels were, they may have been, these are kind of busy, but I was thinking mm, maybe a cute little saying on each one might work. But for some reason I was, I'm thinking that when I saw the kitchen towels, I was thinking, mm, no, Probably not, but please say hello if you guys are here. All right, so this is the way that our ink works. So this is what's so cool about Chalk Couture that I love, okay guys, um, is I'm gonna set these aside. I'm gonna flip this around, right? So I have several. This is one of our new transfers. And it's super cute and it's got all the little pieces of lemons and uh, limes and different things. But it says live life with zest, um, take the wedge off, pucker up. And then I even have um, one that we had, I don't know if it's still available or if it's retired, but it says lemon fresh. 
And then I have some really old uh, transfers here that say fresh squeezed lemonade, you know, a whole bunch of different stuff. So I figured maybe on each one, we could ink a saying right in the middle so that each person who's sitting, you know, will have their own, their own little message. Okay, so what you wanna do is, this is one of our ink mats and I've cut it down to size. Now, if you don't have an ink mat, that is absolutely fine. Um, you can actually do it with a piece of cardboard. You can do it with, um, gosh, a variety of things. You just want something underneath because our inks are somewhat strong in the sense that they're gonna bleed through. So, you know, if you had like a tote or something, you would, or a shirt, you would definitely wanna put a barrier in between um, because you don't want it bleeding through on the back side, on the back layer of the shirt, the onesie, the tote, whatever it is. In this case, it's not um, as necessary because I don't have something on the back side, but just for demonstration purposes, um, I am showing it to you. Okay, so I think I'm just, I was just gonna do black ink, I think. So our ink colors um, vary just as broad and brightly almost as our pastes. There's not as many, but, or green, maybe green. I'm scared with the green that it may not come through, but maybe we'll just try one. We'll just try one and see. So if you guys are, um, I don't know why my camera keeps trying to focus. I'm so sorry, guys. Um, we'll just try one. It's a dollar. This mat was a dollar, you guys. So if it doesn't work, you know what? Like I said, I am being y'all's guinea pig. <laughs> so if it doesn't work and this project goes all to, um, you know, goes in a hand basket, then no major loss, right? Because it's easy peasy. All right, let me just do one little thing here. I forgot I need to, let's ink, um, send it to my boutique page. And that way um, those customers can join in on the fun. Okay, post, awesome. Yeah, it's, and then to my crafting group. So if you guys are not a member of my crafting group, there is a private group there. Um, a lot of the projects that I do are chalk couture, but I do, and even, you know, I, I share my lives from here on there, but then sometimes we delve into more. Like you see the project here, but then we'll have topics and, and different things that we do. Um, on those pages. So that's kind of fun. All right. So I'm thinking either the live life with zest. All right. You know what? Let's do the fresh squeezed lemonade. Uh, like I said, this one's an older transfer. I'll be using some of the newer transfer stuff too, but let's use one of the older ones. See, I kind of wanted to go in the middle, but because it's kind of busy. Hmm, and that green, maybe the other one would be better. All right, we're just gonna go for it, guys. We're just gonna go for it and see. I don't mind layering designs, but I don't know if it's gonna be too busy. So like I said, you guys are gonna be, I'm gonna be the guinea pig for you guys. All right, let me see. I don't know why my camera keeps trying to focus. Let's see here, that is very strange. Let me see if it's the wire. All right, guys. It normally doesn't do that, so it's a little, all right. It's a little odd that it's doing that, and I know that that can be annoying, I apologize. <clears throat> okay, all right. It's just gonna have to be what it, oh, I turned my, <laughs> I turned my uh, flashlight on. How did I do that? Okay. How do I turn my flashlight off? Did I turn it off? Nope. Oh. All right, I'm having issues here. All 
And I don't know, does anybody know how to turn my flashlight off? Hey, nope. Oh, there we go. It's off now. Hmm. Okay. All right. So let me measure. Oh my gosh, you guys, I am just the hot mess express tonight. Let me tell you. Okay. So five inches, about five and a half. Let's go. Let's scoot it over to the right. Is that really blurry for you guys? Cause it's really blurry for me. I don't know what keeps causing them. Okay, so, sorry, my I'm totally distracted by it because it's never done that before and I don't know what's causing it. All right, so we have that and then we're a little, a little over four. Oh, thanks Valerie, thanks for commenting. I'm so sorry that the Thing keeps going blurry. I don't know what is going on with my camera. Um, it's having a moment. Is anybody else having a moment? <laughs> it's having a moment. All right. Okay. So this is the cool thing. So this is an older transfer. I know you guys can't see it on there because it's just so, um, it's blending in, but it says fresh squeezed lemonade. So yeah, it's so weird, Leanne. I don't know why that's happening. Do you guys? Yeah, and it's never done that all. And I hate, Valerie, that this is your first time watching me and it's going blurry. Hold on, let me check my camera, guys. Let me check these things and see. Let's see, oh, that's how I did the, okay. I'm wondering. That's what's so weird. I'm I'm wondering if um here, I'm going to try to lower my camera, guys. I apologize. This is not normal. Normally my camera, I don't have camera issues. Normally I have other issues. <laughs> I'm going to try to drop it and see if maybe that helps. And we'll see. Let's see here. All right, guys, I'm so sorry. I'm thinking maybe it just had too far. Okay, so if you're just joining me, this is a placemat that I bought at Dollar Tree. I love it. Lemons are in, um, at least on the East Coast or in Virginia. I'm not sure which one, um, if it's everywhere or whatever, but it's to they're totally in. And so, um, so yeah, so when I saw it, I went in there actually because I wanted to upcycle a garden uh, bucket and I'm gonna still be on the lookout for it and I will let you guys know if I come across it um, but they didn't have any and so when I saw this I was like OMG it's so stinking cute I had to grab it okay so inks are no different than pastes in fact they don't dry as quickly so that's really nice and they're a lot more fluid than our pastes um, the consistency of them I will tell you though that they are permanent. So um, if you feel like you're a little, getting a little too close to the edging and you don't want to go over on the edge, take some painter's tape and border your transfer so that you don't accidentally go over. The other trick with the inks is you don't want to get it on your fingers or if you do clean it off before you lift the transfer. Because if I have it on my finger and then I go to lift, I'm going to mark my material with the ink and then um you know it's it, it's not permanent until you heat set it but it's awfully hard to get it off of material once it's on there so i've heard spray and wash helps um, a damp cloth if you do it immediately helps a whole bunch of stuff i have not been as successful with that so all right so i'm checking my fingers i don't have any ink on them but we are going to pull this up. 
Oh my gosh, super cute, you guys. Now it is, I'm gonna tell you, it's not as bright as I would have thought because the green, but I kind of like it, to be honest, it's subtle. All right, I'm gonna hold this up so that you guys can see, and hopefully I'm holding it in the right place because as you guys know, I have no spatial skills, so I don't know where the camera is. But that's one mat, boom, done. How stinking cute. And you know what I'm thinking is you could totally, thank you, um, you could totally put this as a bundle together for a new homeowner, a friend who has moved, or somebody who's a baker, or somebody who loves kitchen stuff in your life. Put this in with some some of those upcycled rolling pins I did the other day. Um, a few of these with some lemons stuffed in, some fake lemons or real ones. And then, um, so let me get my ink mat and I will show you guys how I heat set it in a minute, but we're gonna do all four. Um, you know, just so cute. The possibilities are endless for this. So cute. Oh my gosh, we actually have a lemon wreath in the boutique. I am like moments away from buying it because it's just, it's so cute. I can't use any other words. <laughs> it's just cute, just so cute. All right, so this one, I think I wanna do the live life with zest. This is one of our new transfers. Now our transfers come with lines. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's a very faint line. Hopefully the camera's in the right place, right here. Um, that's a cut line. So you can cut our transfers and truly you can cut them anywhere as long as you're not cutting where the screen mesh is. But um, it makes it easier, you know, dealing with these when you can cut them. All right. All right, so we got that one. Let's see here, what else did I have? Oh, I had the lemon fresh one too. Okay, we'll do that one next. All right, so, sorry guys, squirrel. I get so distracted. Hi Steven, hi Brenda. Hi Pat, thank you for joining again. All right, so our, our transfers come on these shiny white, what we call backers. One side is shiny, one side is matte. And I will tell you, you always wanna put these back on the shiny side. So what I do is I mark on the side I don't wanna put it on with the name of the transfer so that I always know I'm putting it back on the right side. Because if you put it on the matte side, when you go to peel it up, it could, be, it could stick really well and you're gonna have a hard time pulling it off. Okay, so I'm going to find the center here. And again, I'm gonna stick with the greens because I want a cohesive look. I want all four mats um, to look well. It's about six inches. I don't need to be perfect here. I always say that and then I spend how much time like redoing, redoing it, redoing it, redoing it. <laughs> okay. All right, so again, now we just if you guys love these, type the word lemons. If you're loving the lemons, type the word lemons in, in the comments. Just so awesome. I love these placemats. Or what a fun summertime project, right? Put these in your kitchen for the summer. Your kids can destroy them. And you know what? It was a dollar. And then the cost of the transfer. And then you get to use the transfer over and over and over again. So... You can make little signs for the kitchen. You can um, really theme up the entire kitchen with the word, with lemons. All right, guys, live life with zest. I am loving it. All right, I'm gonna run out of places to put these because they're not, um, I have not uh, heat set them yet, which I will show you guys in a moment. All right, let me get this other transfer. I think this one, and if there's any designers on, and you guys know, this Lemon Fresh one, I think it's still available. What we have our, um, our designs go into what we call retirement because they come out with new designs. And there's only but so many, you know, numbered of designs that they can have out at a time without truly overwhelming people. Um, and so, so they retire our transfers and, um... Anyways, I, I think this Lemon Fresh one is still available, but I'm not 100% positive. 
Right, Lisa? Lemons! <laughs> I was thinking about doing the black, but I'm really like, like I said, I'm liking the green. It is very subtle, um, but cute. Same thing with ink as with um, paste. You want to make sure all of the air bubbles are out. We do have a four inch squeegee that helps with that. You literally just drag it across and sometimes you can hear it pop, 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 pop. And that means all the little air bubbles are being pulled out of it. Okay, so we're a little under six. We're at about six. Three and a quarter. Can y'all hear my son up there? He's playing video games with somebody and it's like screaming. All right. Oh, I think I went too far. I think I went too far, you guys. I don't need to be perfect, but I obviously don't need... Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Um, but I don't want to be so off-center either. Here is a trick, though. You can fold your mat in half. Here you go. Fold your mat in half. Make a little crease, right? So I can, you guys probably can't see it, but I can see the crease. And then you can fold your transfer in half if it's cut pretty much evenly. And then make it fall right on that crease that you just created. And that way, you know you're somewhat centered, at least. Now it's just going right to left, right on the six. All right, we're good. We are good. Okay. All right, guys. Here we go. All right, let me... Hold on, guys. Let me hit something here to make sure I'm... I'm just making sure I have everything. All right. Okay. All right, guys, now this one has a lot of screen mesh area. So it has the most vulnerability to having air bubbles. But I'm going to tell you that's one other thing that I really like about our inks is because our transfer sticks so well to fabric. Um, the opportunity for those are, is less. Not that it's not there, but it is a little bit less than otherwise. And again, you're just doing nice long strokes. You know, some people want to do this. And I'm going to tell you, um, now with our inks, it's not as huge of a deal. But with our pastes, they dry quickly because it's got chalk in it. And as soon as air hits it, it wants to dry it out. And you don't want your inks or your paste drying on the transfer because then it's going to clog that screen and not go through very clearly. Um, so you want to do nice long strokes. Happy little strokes. <laughs> we can bring Bob Ross into our into our crafting world, right? Oh my gosh. What do you guys think? Make sure I'm not missing any comments. So cute. All right. So we got one more. That's three three uh placemats. We've got one more, and then I'll heat set them, and you guys can see. Oh, gosh, that just turned on itself. Okay, so we either have pucker up or take the wedge off. Which one do you guys think? Pucker up or take the wedge off? You guys vote. Pucker or wedge? I'll do either one. Pucker or wedge? I'll cut them both so I have them ready. You guys let me know. Pucker or wedge? Comment below. Comment below. Let me get this. Oh, and let me turn my, I've got my Cricut Easy Press underneath the floor here. Let me turn that on so it's getting ready for me. And turn up the heat on it so it can be ready. You guys can also use a plain household iron. That works too. Um, you don't have to have, uh, you know, any type of 
special heating element to heat set your designs. I am loving these placemats. I was going to sell these in the boutique, but now I'm thinking maybe I'll keep them. <laughs> maybe I'll keep them. Pucker up. Okay. That's what we're doing. Lisa, you were the first one to respond. I don't see any other comments. If you guys are commenting and I'm not seeing them, I'm so sorry. That's a Facebook thing, not a, not a Mia thing. Okay. We'll do pucker up. So cute. Wouldn't that be cute on a onesie? Pucker up. Give me kisses. Do you ever say that to the little, little babies? Give me kisses. And they give you those really, really like squishy baby wet kisses <laughs> that are kind of gross, but you got to love it because they're so stinking cute. You can't, you can't help but love them for it. Okay. All right, if you guys are wanting to be notified when I go live, just text your name and the words notify me to this, um, oh, right on the mark, to this number, and I would be happy to notify you. I do it about 90% of the time. I'll send a text out, um, but I don't, uh, to be honest with you, um, sometimes I forget, but I try not to be spammy. I try not to send too much stuff. It just depends on how many times I go live, to be honest. Um, three and a half. That should be about right. Yep. All right. On the money, you guys. I'm getting better with each one. Maybe if I did this like 10 times, I wouldn't even have to measure. All right. This one I love because I have a lot of space all the way around. I'm not too concerned about falling off the edges. But like I said, if you do feel like you're going to fall off the edges and ink an area, you shouldn't. Um, just put some painter's tape over the area, over the edges or um, in an area you don't want to ink and, you know, you'll be good to go. All right. And at the end of this, I'll put links to these transfers and um, I don't know if this ink, they also retire our inks and stuff. This one's meadow, but I'm sure we have one that is <coughs> complimentary. All right, checking my fingers for ink. Pucker up, buttercup. All right, there we go. So now how we um, heat set it. All right, so you need some parchment paper, just regular old kitchen parchment paper. This one I'm gonna do last. I'm gonna let that dry just a little bit. We're gonna pull the first one up. You wanna make sure your ink mat is not on the back end. Believe me, I have heat set that ink mat so many times. Um, you wouldn't even, you'd be surprised. <laughs> it eventually falls back into shape, but, um, all right, so this is the part that I'm, I'm wondering how this is gonna work because um, it is polyester, so. We're going to see how well this works. All right. So what you want to do is you want to take some, um, that's still, actually, I'm going to hit it with a blow dryer first. Um, take some, hold on, guys. Woo. All right. You just want to take, um, what is this called? parchment paper that you can get in any kitchen section of any grocery store or what have you. Well, hello, Miss Barnett. If that's the Beth Barnett that I know. Okay. I'm totally into lemons. Lemons are a thing right now. <laughs> so I saw these at Dollar Tree and I had to just add my little personalization to them. So cute. All right, so you just take a regular iron, or if you have a heat press or some type of crafting iron or anything. Um, I have it at 360. It's probably too hot, to be honest with you. Somewhere around 320 um, would be fine, 340. And just for about 30 seconds, just run the heat across it. And you want to do it on both sides. How are you, Mrs. Barnett? It's been so long. I hope you're doing okay. All right, so you've got 30 seconds, let's see. <gasps> and it worked! Oh, so nice. And then you just flip it over. 
You're supposed to heat set the other side of it, but this is a really, I might forego this one um, because of the material. I don't know. We're going to let this sit for a second and see how it goes. Who knows? Let's, hopefully I'm not going to end up burning. I probably need to turn the heat down a little bit, to be honest. But 30 seconds on each side. Oh, thank you. I have fun with it. You know, it's a nice creative outlet, to be honest. Um, sometimes when you have, you know, a long day at work or just life, it's nice to decompress a little bit with a craft. You know, when you can make or see something pretty, why not? All right, moving on to the next one. Oh, did I check that one to see if it's still a little tacky? Let's see if it'll, let's see if it'll be okay. Let's take it. See, I'm I'm being the guinea pig for everybody. I'll try all the things and then you guys can learn from me and then go and do it. <laughs> and skip the Pinterest fails because I'll make them for you. All right. It worked. All right, and then a little bit on this side. You got two more guys, and then we're pretty much done. I will take a picture of these when they're done, but what a fun, quick project. Like I said, I can totally see these in a gift basket, um, in a gift basket for somebody, um, put in there with other kitchen items or other uh, see, here's my ink mat. I was just about to iron that. Um, and a gift basket for somebody. What a pretty, uh, bridal shower gift, especially, I know sometimes people do like, um, in fact, Mrs. Barnett's daughter, who's my bestie, she had a kitchen themed bridal shower, and this would have been really cute in a gift basket. Um, kind of overflowing the edge of the basket with other kitchen items maybe with some lemon recipes together. How awesome would that be? I love that idea. I love themes. Have you guys caught on? I love themes. Oh, that one did splatter a little bit. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, look guys, because it was wet. That was the last one that I did. I probably should have hit that with the blow dryer first. Okay, so lesson learned. Don't do it when it's tacky. <laughs> when it's tacky wet. Um, in fact, you can, that one's very tacky wet. Let it dry for a little while. You don't have to heat press it immediately. <laughs> later. All right, I'm going to just, hopefully this one doesn't um, bleed on me a little bit. All right, so we're just sitting here, just a bunch of girls chit-chatting. If you want to join my private crafting group where we have even more fun, just type the word VIP in the comments. And I will, my little virtual assistant bot, Olive, will send you a message. Um, and you will get a link to that. If you're interested in learning about Chalk Couture and the business opportunity, then type the word join in the comments. And, um, and you'll get another message. Or if you guys are interested, if you've seen at the top of my page, we did do a fundraiser cookbook. It's from my team. They're all over the United States. So you're going to get a wide variety of recipes. I think there's over 40 recipes in it. Um, it's just, we're just asking for a 10, it's a digital cookbook. It's not something that's going to be mailed to you. It will be emailed to you. 
Um, and we're raising money for an organization called Watts of Love. Chalk Couture has teamed up with them um, and has for the last couple of years. But it's a digital cookbook and we're just asking for a $10 donation. So if you type the word cookbook in the comments, then you will get the information on that. Um, all right, guys, that's pretty much it. I truly, truly appreciate you for um, hanging with me tonight. Oh, let's turn my... I appreciate you guys hanging with me tonight and watching me craft. If you guys have any questions whatsoever, please just put them in the comments or private message me. I would be happy to answer them for you. All right, everybody. Have a wonderful evening, and I will see you soon. Bye.